cleared for takeoff. Cape Air getting final approval for its new city to city seaplane service, taking off from Boston Harbor and actually landing in the East River right in Manhattan. But as Christina Rex reports, the easy access to the Big Apple won't come cheap. We're talking about four flights a day. The seaplanes would pick passengers up here at Long Wharf, then taxi them across the way to the water outside of Logan Airport. From there, they would take off and land in New York City. Planes like these will soon make a splash in Boston Harbor. In a Thursday afternoon vote, the Boston Planning and Development Agency approved the proposal to allow Cape Air seaplane flights from Boston to New York. As long as they stay, away, stay out of the way of everything, it's a busy harbor. The plan is years in the making and controversial. Waterfront residents and businesses fear a safety issue for an already congested harbor. It would be a safety thing if, uh, if they hit the boat or... Uh, I mean, in, in the summertime, the, the harbor is just full of, of all kinds of, of boats. It's only a one year pilot program, and you'd have to pay a pretty penny for the service. A similar flight by Cape Air from the Hamptons to NYC costs nearly $800 one way. One other complaint leading up to the proposal the noise. There's hundreds of flights out of Logan every day. Which one waterfront resident says probably won't be an issue. I'm not too worried about the airplanes. And we you... already have the airports right there. You can see the tower from here. Do you hear them? Not really, not at home. No. When I'm on the roof deck, yes, but otherwise, no. And regular flight service will begin as soon as Cape Air is ready. Two rules, though. Those seaplanes won't be allowed to fuel up or dock overnight here at Long Wharf. In Boston, Christina Rex, WBZ News. Hmm.